Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Nikki. We are here to talk about a new science unit from the good and the beautiful. If that is something that interests you, then keep on watching. All right, so the good and the beautiful launched a brand new science unit for preschool through second grade. And I have picked it up. Uh-huh. I am a sucker <laughs> for new curriculum, but you guessed it. Um, Little Hearts and Hands is the one that I picked up. And since we are going into our second grade year, why not, right? Um, so I'm going to do uh, a quick overview of it and show you some of the lessons. So here's the thing. We've done a couple of the lessons or a couple of the Good and the Beautiful's unit studies. Um, we've done the safety unit and we are working through the bird unit right now. Now, most of these um, units, I believe, are K through 8. Um, I do believe that the younger children can get very lost um, or over their head in some of this, um, some of these things. So I love that they're coming out with something for specifically the littles. So let's just get into it. So this is Fields and Flowers Parent Guide. It is laid out perfectly. Um, we have the table of contents. So I will just go over with you the lessons. So there are trees that live and sleep, trees year round, the tallest trees, tree bark, tree sap and syrup, mushrooms and moss, wildflowers, seeds, garden flowers, desert plants, plants that eat parts of a plant, edible plants, butterflies, honeybees, ants, snails and slugs, mosquitoes, beetles, ooh, excuse me, beetles. Worms, crustaceans, slithery snakes, grasshoppers and crickets, lizards, ladybugs, dragonflies, fireflies, frogs, fish, and water plants. That is one heck of a table of content. So one thing about the good and the beautiful is it always has an about this course, um, which it's pretty simple. It is full color, spiral bound, 80 page parent guide, which is what I have in my hand right now. No prep time is required and some additional activities and supplies are listed as well. So there are videos on their website that you can access. Um, I won't show you the website because it is with the purchased um, curriculum, but they have videos and then they have stories that are in the big book of science stories. So I am so excited. <laughs> um, and they have activities and some that are also listed on their blog. What else is really nice is they have correlated books. I did not purchase these. Um, so also they have activity supplies. So this will go through lesson by lesson by lesson and tell you what supplies are needed for each lesson. These are pretty simple in the fact that each, I mean, paper, leaves, crayons, chalk, measuring tape, tweezers, magnifying glass, pine cones, pancake recipe, toothpick. So many of these people have on hand, which I can really appreciate because sometimes it's a pain in the butt to have to go to the store or order online, depending on where you live. If a store is not two minutes from your house, like it is for me. But anyway, it is laid out so you can plan ahead and prep it however you would like. There are 30 lessons and they are beautiful, hence the good and the beautiful. So this is lesson number one. 
it is nice and laid out it has an opening poem it has supplies needed at the top of the page um, and then it has the typical read to the child and then this one has movie time so it says to access the video and watch the video and then answer they have discussion questions um, on the back and an optional activity as well so that is lesson one um, so this would be lesson number two and this is trees year round so again it has um, a song this time a read to the child supplies needed and then story time so it wants us to go into lucia's christmas fur which is located in the big book of science so basically this is lucia's christmas fur the pages are beautiful i mean they have definitely outdone themselves i wish like things were just as like i mean the unit studies are beautiful especially the new and updated ones um of pictures but i love stories so yeah i mean this is a like what 200 page book but the pictures are wonderful and I'm excited to read the stories to go look at this look at this die or this picture of what is under the dirt so cool so excited um my daughter's gonna love this so we I am planning to do this over summer and we are going to get started as soon as next week um because it is a 30 lesson unit so i know i just said we're doing burrs but we can easily add this in as well i don't think it would take time to do one lesson um super easy super open and go beautiful pictures um i love that it, discussion questions are incorporated um there are questions and answers um to most and then the ex the optional activities okay so here's this one take your child on a walk and observe the trees around you have your child find a tree to wrap his or her arms around then back at home draw a large rectangle with chalk on the driveway or sidewalk that measures 15 feet wide have your child lie down and spread his or her arms out to see if he or she can hug um the hyperion if i said that correctly i don't know so the best part is that it can incorporate cooking um so the optional activity on this page which is tree sap and syrup is to make some pancakes or waffles um and what and then have your child tell the family what he or she has learned about making syrup so really fun i believe and engaging things like i said i did not purchase any of the correlated books but um i will say the binding <laughs> i'm hoping it's gonna last i can already tell that i don't think it's going to um i don't know what it is about the good and the beautiful binding that is their only flaw in my personal opinion things just don't stay bound <laughs> um but this is bound differently so um i'm sure this book will hold together real nice so real quick before i un exit out of this video or finish up this video um i did purchase a few um from their library that are level three books for my second grader um this is freddie and linda this is rags an orphan of the storm and other animal stories i think this one has three stories in one and then who's treehouse so i thought this would be good to tie in with our birds 
um, and just like a good overall um, book stand or library. <laughs> Sorry, my words are failing me today. So that is it. I am curious, have you guys started or have gotten um, the little hearts and hands for Fields and Flowers? And so many exciting things. Um, I'm curious what your thoughts are. Leave them below in the comment and let me know. Um, also, what unit studies are you doing? Do you do unit studies? What do you do for these extra type things? Or is it solely based on your child um is their interest so we do do that too but i couldn't help myself and they are coming up with several new ones on the good and the beautiful website i do believe paleontology has released um and i will definitely be picking that one up but i'm pretty sure i'm gonna wait till our third grade year to use it as I already have our plan for second grade. So that is it, my friends. If you did like this video, you know the jazz. Give it like, like thumbs up, all that stuff. Um, subscribe, bell, you know. You know what to do. <laughs> so that is it. This concludes the video. I will uh, see you soon, guys. Bye.